Hi everyone, this is Kim from the Palo Alto Networks community team bringing you a new Palo Alto Networks video tutorial. Today's video will cover disabling, enabling and cloning rules. So let's continue to our firewall and check out what it's all about. To illustrate this feature, I'll go to the Policies tab. So I'll click the Policies tab. And here you can choose any policy that you want. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using examples on the security policy and I have loaded a random policy on this device. Now looking at this rule base, you'll immediately see some differences between the rules. So some are grayed out, some are highlighted in yellow, some are blue and then at the bottom of the rule base, you'll have two yellow ones as well, the, the two default rules. Now also notice that without selecting any rule, most of the uh, action buttons here below are grayed out. The only option we have available to us is the add a new rule. Now moving forward, let's take a local rule for example, a blue one. Uh, so for example, let's uh, grab this block WinRAR rule and select it. Uh, make sure it is highlighted, uh, indicating that you selected it. You'll notice that some options become available at the bottom. You have the delete, the clone, enable, disable and move option available to you. So let's start by disabling this rule. Just click the button and you'll notice that the rule will become grayed out after doing so. This also means that all the other grayed out rules are rules that have been disabled already. For example, this TOR rule right here. So let's go ahead and select it. Notice that the same options are available. So let's go and enable this one. Notice how the rule turns blue again, indicating that the rule is now enabled. Now this manipulation isn't limited to just one rule. You can easily select multiple rules and disable or enable them at the same time. So to show this, let's select rule 6 to 9. Notice that by selecting the rules, it is highlighting each rule individually. To select more than one rule, use the shift key or control key or the command key on a Mac and click the desired rules. Once you have selected the desired rules, click your disable button to disable all of them at once. Notice that all the selected rules are now grayed out and just as easily you can enable them again by clicking the enable button. Another option is to clone the selected rule or rules. So select the rule you would like to clone and hit the clone button. The clone window will pop up allowing you some options on where to put the cloned rules. So you'll see the rules that you have selected. You can select the vSys where you want to install the rule. You want to install the rule after your existing rule, before the existing rule, at the top of your policy or at the bottom of your policy. Of course if you select this the second option will disappear. So let's move it after our existing rule and click OK. So notice that a copy or clone was created of the selected rule and it's placed at the location you specified in the clone menu. Similarly to the enabling or disabling rules, you can clone multiple rules at once. Just select the desired rules as shown before and hit the clone button. Specify the destination and voila, you'll have a set of cloned rules just like this one rule we just cloned now. Now since we don't need this rule, I'm just going to delete it now. Now notice that this policy has a special rule at the top. Notice the yellow rule pano tap at the top. Let's select it and have a look at the available options. Notice that you cannot disable or enable this rule. That's because this rule was pushed from Panorama and it is a read-only rule. 
You can see this by opening this rule up. That is read only. You can, however, clone this rule. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's move it to the top. Now, this will create a local copy on the firewall. Once that you have created a local copy on the firewall, you can enable it and disable it as you wish. Now, since we don't need this rule right here, let's go ahead and delete it now. Now, for traffic that doesn't match any user-defined rules, the default rules apply. The default rules are the two rules at the bottom of the rule base. These are predefined to allow intrazone traffic, which is traffic within the same zone, or deny interzone traffic, which is traffic between zones, different zones. Now, although these rules are part of the predefined configuration and are read only by default, you can override them. You will notice this if you select the rule that only the override option becomes available. Now a nice use case example of how uh, this can be useful is uh, let's say that you have a rule base of like two or three hundred rules and you have a, a bunch of disabled rules distributed throughout your policy. So you don't want to scroll down your policy searching for the disabled rules and enable them one by one. A nice trick to see only the disabled rules is to use a filter. By using the filter disabled equals yes, it will show you all the disabled rules, making it a lot easier for you to select the ones you would like to enable. Let's clear this for now. So all of the mentioned actions are also possible in all the other policies. So for example, if you want to go check out the decryption policy, You'll notice that we already have some grayed out rules here, meaning that they are disabled. You can easily enough select them and enable them as shown earlier. Let's go ahead and disable them again. Also, all the actions apply in all these policies. So that's it for me. I hope this uh, video was useful for you. And feel free to post any comments or questions below. Cheers.